everyone, I'm sharing with you how to make another useful item for Valentine or it can be for every holiday or any day. And um, the fabric I have, I have two fabric, the Valentine one and then the solid one. And the Y size is 6 inches long, Y and 18 inches long. And I have two. I'm going to go ahead and take the main side out with the Valentine. And here I have the lining and the insule braid that I used to make bow cozy. I place it in here. And either way, you can turn on the back side and then you can draw the line when you quilt it. For the beginner request, so you can do this, draw the line like this. You can draw the line if you want to. And if you are an expert, don't have to do this. This is the request by the beginner. And um, just do this and when you, you quilt, everything will be even. I can go this way and do the exact the same. Go down the other way like you just did, but go this way, okay? So do that everyone. You see when I draw, I make sure this line right here that, that from the beginning is end and it go into end in this one. Like this one right here, that end right there, and it go on to meet the end over here. That's how I do. You think? So go and sew each line and then after that sew the other line. Okay? So So everyone, after I quilt around here, so you're gonna fold it in half. We're going to curve one side. So mark the center. Just right here. I'm using the white so you can see. This is for the lining piece. And on the side, two inches, you're gonna mark. And you can use a place or anything that you can connect this to this to one side the two inch to the center you can find anything that you can round that area you can fold it together and then you cut at one get the main side and then you go on to place it on top of it then you cut in this side out too so make sure that everything is Meet up side by side and everything. I'm going to put the main side um on the side and then we're working on this one. Remember the center that we still have it there. From that center down, you go going to mark mark down about an inch right in the center down one inch. So it's right there. So I, you can get the little velcro. So you don't need the big giant one. This one right here that I got it from a Dollar Tree. Then you can sew it right in the center like that. So everyone, after I sew the velcro on one side, right in the middle, one inch down, I'm gonna bring the main side in, place it together, go and sew the end together, the straight side together. You can do half an inch seam allowance. So sew that in. So after you sew in together, so after you sew, you open this together and press on the sew line. 
and now from here you go on to fold it together tops to this line everyone you want to make sure you can clip it you clip it down and then you go right on right on it and then you top it this side okay so everyone after I sew the top stud right here I just touched the camera and now it's shaking it's nervous everyone so I am make sure I'm gonna clip it here so everything is stay in place for me everything is good I don't want to make anything going crazy and now I'm gonna fold in this way so I can mark the center the right side right here okay so I'm gonna flip into the right side this way I mark the center that the center and I'm going down half an inch okay half an inch right there everyone I'm going to sew the other side of the rail cross in make sure there's two different sides so I'm going to place it right here okay so go ahead and sew this in so just go around it and sew it in after I sew the velcro on the main side I'm going to flip and do the line inside just to make it easy to show you so from here I'm going to mark four inches it start from the top stitch right here See that line from the top stud that I have earlier? Go up four inches. You can mark on the two sides because you want to make sure everything is even. And then from here, I'm putting the ruler right on the two mark that I just marked. And then I'm going to bring it up and take the ruler out. I'm going to take this separate this hold on to this just clip the um, the fold side that you just fold over to the lining separate from the main do this okay and then you're going to take this out take the main side out from this okay and this is right here that's where you stop at the the other side is right here. So, for this part right here, that you're going to divide into three. The easiest way you do is two and a half from side in the middle, two and a half, and then the other side in, two and a half. So two and a half and two and a half is five and then the middle one is one inch so down here i just want to make sure everything is even so i'm gonna do two and a half and then two and a half i'm gonna and put the pencil right there that's where we go on to mark so two and a half and straight out two and a half and straight out So go ahead and then on the top here, go so all the way down to where the pencil that the line that's stuck with the fold, and then from here all the way down and stop. Now you have three pockets right here. One, two, and three. Remember on this side, we didn't sew in yet because there's no need to. Bring this up to meet with that one. Okay. Now when it's good, you go take this clip and clip together. Okay, 
everything line up so nice for you. Make sure you clip all around. So it's time to sew everyone. Either way, on the left side or the right side, you sew, but you want to leave two inches right here. Okay. So now what you need to sew, you're going to sew a quarter off an inch from one side all the way. Remember, this is the fold. Sew it up to where you mark and stop, back it and stop. Leave this open, going up to here, go all around, all around, all around to the left side, go down to the bottom and stop. So let's go ahead and sew. Get the same thickness and then place from the beginning, right in front of the presser foot. And from there you can sew. want to make sure everything is straight I want to make sure my side of the fabric touching the right the side of the press of foot here that is guide me and make it so easy Remember when you want to turn the fabric around, you make sure the needle always down on the fabric so when you move, it doesn't go out of the line. Get into here, it's where the thickness is. Get the fabric, fold it the same. When you get into the thick area, make sure you fold the fabric in the, um, same, the same thickness. And then go right in the front, lift this up, make sure the needle still touching down to the fabric. Okay. So everyone after I iron all around, go ahead and top stitch just on this part right here all around. Everyone, we are done. Put this back. 
and make sure the velcro is here touching the velcro is here when it's closed it's right here i want to do a little bowl right there to make it nice and and prettier so this i have 14 inches of the half inches ribbon you can get that from a dollar tree and then you go on to fold it in half do the same thing for the hair bowl everyone this is what i do okay so this is the half right there so this one right here you're gonna grow this out to the outside and this one right here you're going to turn it into you and make it like a number eight right here now i have two like this number eight and i'm going to pinch right here in the middle of one bring it to the center and then from this one right here i also bring into the center to meet with the other one if you have clip you can use the clip but i'm showing you this one i don't use the clip because i have the clip right here you can get your hair supply you can be able to get one and then you clip in right in the middle like this and from here you're going to put the thread in there and then tie but i'm showing you just in case you don't have it you can get the thread and needle tie the knot together this is double so tie the knot so then you have something to hold and then let this needle go through that okay and then you pull and then you go on to sew like this to sew that in the rail clothes right here right on top of it add it in there Look at that. How beautiful. Isn't that so cute? This is what you need to do for your dinner table. You can put knife, fork, whatever you want to put like that to set up the table. Turn this way so you can see. So fork, knife, whatever you decide to do. And a knife. I have a little knife right there. Butter knife. And then another spoon. How cute that is. And then you can close it. So adorable. Look at that. When you open it when you to the table, how special it is. Look at that. When the people sitting down and they're like, what in there? Stay safe and take care everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share, and like the like button. Make sure you click on that. And um, to support my channel, please watch the video to the end. And um, I have to upload the video any other day, everyone, due to my health. So I have to take it easy. I hope you understand. Take care. Love you all.